Beeflang is still fairly new to the general public, and there are not that many native libraries for it yet. However, other languages like C already tend to have libraries for these purposes. We're doing an entire library, and Beef is pretty time consuming though. This is where the simplicity of C comes into play. Being only function structs and literals, uh, this allows users to map functions from a C library into other languages. So with a bit of work we can theoretically map any C library into Beef to make it usable from Beef code. You can also do the same with C++, however there are some concepts from that language that can make it harder and sometimes impossible to do cleanly. So we are only going to focus on C libraries today. Welcome to Beef Quick Tips, I'm Booklord of the Dinks, and today I will tell you how to call C functions from Beef code. This process is described as binding. First we declare the function and how it looks in Beef code. Then we'll tell the linker that we want to link it with a specific lib or dll file. To indicate this we need to add a library requirement. First compile the library to get the lib or dll file. Then right click the project in the workspace, properties, build and set the additional lib paths to the value or rather to the file of the project you want to link with. Functions that you want to bind use the extern keyword and don't have a body. The main thing that needs to match are the function name, the output parameters and the input parameters. Actually the parameters don't need to fully match but rather need to match in size. So it doesn't matter whether the function returns a vec3 or a float3 array. If the parameters are primitives you can use this corresponding beef type which can either be a normal type or a type from the systems.interop namespace. If the type is a struct, you need to rebuild the struct structure in beef. For this you should have simply equate all members of the struct to, it be, to its beef counterpart and add the c wrapper uh, attribute to make the struct align the same as in c. The link name attribute also needs to be set and allows you to have a different name from the one you would actually want to link to. This helps since c libraries often put their type before their name, but in beef you can use an actual type for this. This should be enough to quickly allow you to bind some simpler libraries yourself. If you need more help, check out the interop page on the beef, um, in the beef documentation, the beef discord, or look at the sample space game which actually uses SDL2 bindings that you can just take a look at and compare with how you did it. This was Beef Quick Tips and I hope to see you soon.